How do you choose? You, you name things more often than me. How do you choose your names? Um, it's tricky, isn't it? Usually, um, mm. when I've published papers with Paul Barrett, he comes up with really good names for them. So I just go to oh, yes. suggest it's best best it... way. Uh, <laughs> actually, good. I was trying to I was trying to come up with a name for a dinosaur, a new dinosaur this morning, and I was writing, I was googling the Latin for various words in the locality name. Well, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to give too many hints away. No spoilers. But let's we can't say offer, we can't offer name a dinosaur as a uh, fossil files listener prize. Then that's not uh, going to happen. No, <laughs> no. I mean, this is a privilege reserved for you. I'll give you, I'll give you an example. Uh, yes. I the specimen was from a brick pit, and mm -hmm. I was looking for the word for brick in Latin, for example. Mm -hmm. So I was sort of thinking along those sorts of lines. Other things that I've named dinosaurs on, um, tried to name them in the local lingo. Or mm -hmm. so I've named a Welsh dinosaur in Old Welsh. Yes. Um, yeah, I've seen some actually, Gallicly named dinosaurs, Scottish yeah. Gallic names as well. Yeah. But you don't. Have, yeah. I mean, you, you you don't have to name when you were looking up the Latin for brick. You could have just used brick, couldn't you? In English, I could have done. Yeah, but it's just not a very nice word. No, there's got to be an Brickosaurus part to this. Yes, like shit, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I name one after Paul Barrett just because he's Ooh. been a you know sort of mentor nice. and um, really important advisor throughout my mm -hmm. career. Um, so I named a dinosaur, an ankylosaur, after him. And he said in the press at the time when it, the paper came out that he was really pleased that we'd named a a um, short-limbed, wide-bodied, spiky animal after him. <laughs>